What's good, YouTube? How's everyone doing? Thank you for coming back. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about anything. I just went to Target and I bought myself Mr. Beast Beastable. It's a chocolate bar with low amount of ingredients. It's made by a YouTuber, um, which I think is really cool. I enjoy uh, supporting, I don't want to say like small people, but uh, people that you know that have a face. Um, so in a sense, yeah, a small person who does a lot of giveaways. So I feel good buying his chocolate bar versus a uh, Hershey's chocolate bar, which has a lot of ingredients and, and um, yeah, you know, a lot of ingredients. So this is better. Uh, also, Prime Drink, not bad actually, pretty good by Logan Paul, Jake Paul, whoever, one of them. Uh, actually, pretty good drink, better than Gatorade, healthier than Gatorade. So, uh, you know, gotta treat your body right. If you're in the mood for something good, might as well eat some uh, better sweets if you can, or drink a better drink. Uh, but yeah, so besides all that, uh, finished work today, I'm on 13 days straight of work it might even be more i'm not even sure but every day i am grinding and working 100 percent. i enjoy working enjoy grinding um and then of course when i'm not working i'm thinking about how can i make more money and you know work more uh but i don't look at work as like something miserable um of course i'd rather be like jet skiing and doing other cool things but I have to build that escape, you know, build that life. This way I can go and do whatever I want and, uh, you know, be rewarded for that. Um, you know, so I gotta build a life where I can reward myself whenever I want. But today at work, I made 500 plus dollars. Good day at work. Um, didn't get to get my business card out, even though I did give it to these people like two weeks ago when I moved them. So I didn't see the need to do it again. Plus they're moving to Florida. So I don't know how likely they are to use me if they're going out there. Um, but yeah, I've been getting a few uh, texts today about people who need side jobs done. So uh, I'm actually in the middle of messaging someone right now. They need six doors replaced. Uh, interior doors, I quoted them 700. Uh, only which is cheap and I only went cheap because It's not something I ever done before so I'm willing to Not charge full price because I haven't done it before so I'd rather Learn and get the job easily rather than charge them an arm and a leg and uh, You know, I maybe it doesn't go right because I need to learn the skill even though I know I can do it It's just a matter of I want to do it first Besides that I got two big side jobs coming up this month where you know I was thinking before I want to make it a goal to make more money in a month doing side work than my actual job uh, and that would be very cool because then I would be able to if I wanted leave my actual job and just follow the side work route so this month so far I haven't done any side work but I have two things lined up right now. One is building a jungle gym for someone. Comes in a box, has to be assembled. I'm also hanging four TVs and 10 fixtures for them. I am charging $1,200. Bring in a helper with me. I already told him I'm gonna pay him 300. He's a very good worker, hard worker, clean guy. Um, so I'm gonna profit 900 on that taken off of work to do that um, then after that I got a side job a moving job going to Delaware where I am charging two thousand dollars and after I'm bringing one guy with me after paying for the truck and him I should profit about eleven hundred so in those two jobs two days I'm gonna make two thousand dollars which is very good it's good money um, and then yeah, I'm just trying to book up some more. I would like to make at least 10,000 this month just in the handyman business 
and the side jobs and you know just at the moving company I should make more than that um, but yeah so it's a lot of fun it's good besides that I am working on my hot dog stand getting a hot dog stand up and running I called the place I want to put it and they're actually down for me to put it there which is pretty cool they asked they didn't know what to charge me I asked for a parking spot I was like you know it's a it's a shopping center I was like yeah I want to rent a parking spot from you guys and they're like how much do you want to pay and to be honest I, sh I should have went low but I, I was like like I'm comfortable paying a thousand bucks to let me use your traffic you know and they said okay to that but then they want 10% of uh, all the sales on top of that uh, which is a nice chunk that's kind of annoying and you know they have a lot of customers there a lot of people coming in so I should be able to sell a lot of dogs and if the cart makes 600 bucks on the day 10% is gonna go to them which is 60 maybe 200 bucks in supplies thousand bucks a month I think is like 30 bucks a rent in rent a day so we're looking at about 300 in supplies and then paying someone to be there the whole day about 200 bucks so I should make a hundred dollars which is cool because it's very minimal work and um, you know some days will be better so I'm happy with that a hundred bucks a day is 35,000 a year for a passive business where I just have to buy buns and hot dogs you know and condiments uh, I'm happy with that you know I can't complain and that would be one of my sources of income that you know I think this is an easy one to build maybe anyone watching sh should uh, try to build an easy income easy side income um, like a hot dog stand uh, and just test it out, you know? If it doesn't work out, it's a learning experience. If you spent like $5,000, let's say, which is very doable, yeah, that's not cool um, if you lost it, but you're gonna learn so much from it that it's well worth it. Because that $5,000 you're gonna be able to make in a second just from the knowledge that you gained from it. So that's something I'm excited about. Got the handyman business going. Um, I have my actual job, which is going well. I'm investing constantly into cryptocurrencies. I'm thinking about starting to invest in gold and uh, stocks as well. So I'm going to have a nice diverse portfolio that is going to earn me money cons consecutively as well as my other sources of income. So the goal is to build 10 sources of income. And I'm going to journey this with you guys and keep you all up to date as I build them all. Uh, when I started this channel, I definitely just had my job and that was it. Now I have this handyman business too, which is amazing. And working on the hot dog stand, as well as my savings have increased, my investments have increased. Everything's going great. And this is all thanks to Quit and Weave really helped me get sparked and no pun intended and got the ball rolling so thank you everybody who's been watching please subscribe and join the journey also share your thoughts down below whatever it is you think um you know just let me know what you think what you have going on what your goals are so i love to hear them i read every comment i respond to every comment and yeah Thank you for watching. Have a great day, guys. Peace.